Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's open up this 5600G CPU. The link is in description. You can buy it from AliExpress. Also some coupon codes are included. CPU is new, we'll have a sticker. This CPU have integrated the graphics. Not high end, but good enough to run some programs like Photoshop, Adobe. Always make sure you receive it with all the pins on place. Be careful from bending the pins. Okay, let's put it on our motherboard. You will need a mid-range motherboard that can support 65 watts a four, four, fifty, 450 motherboard will be enough this is our motherboard here make sure to remove the power cable before placing it also Remove the battery, try to clear the CMOS. First, pick this up to open the socket. Find out the small arrow in the socket and also on the CPU. There it is. Place it gently, let the pins slide, then a little bit of push, make sure everything is on place, close, and that's it all. Now we will need to put heatsink and fan. Make sure to use a high-end thermal pad. You can put a dot, but I really like to take things on control. Don't put too much. Just a small thin layer. Start in the middle. Make sure to not put too much or to touch another parts of the motherboard. Try to cover. All the CPU area. Okay, almost done. Okay. 
I think that's enough. We take our fan, it's half this one, it's half three pins, no RGB controller. Find the main the main CPU first first CPU fan pins which is there. Make sure the fan face the front of the case. So it will blow the wind out to the back. This is the hard part. Charge with one side. I prefer to charge with the with the hard side this will take time just be careful with I think it's good if it's good like this on place don't do too much pressure you don't want to break anything now after we are done we put the battery pack first time you turn on the PC you will get this error click Y to reset the FT FTPM PC will reboot. Click on delete to enter the BIOS. Keep clicking the delete button. Now we are on the BIOS. Temperature 37. View frequency 3600. Everything seems okay. The screen is a little bit not in place. Click the auto button on your monitor to fix that. Now Go to advance view configuration now. Go to the turbo if you want to evade. XMP profile your RAM for faster speed if you know good configuration you can use it but for me this is all what I do after you finish click F10 to save the settings and that's it don't forget to install the graphic card drivers. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and goodbye.